Good morning, everyone. Right over there, we have the boulder that we couldn't do anything about the first time we were here. But now that we have the bombs, I'm just going to pull them out real quick. We are going to be able to go in there. And as I have said earlier, this is another one of the, of the creepy great fairies that are in this game. And this one is going to give me the second wallet upgrade. So... I'm just... Oh, there, there, there's a bomb over there. I'm just going to pick it up before... Because as I said, there's a part coming up where you need bombs. And while I'm not so terrible as to waste all my bombs on it, I'm certainly not stellar either. So, um... Hi, bizarre, creepy, great fairy. I'm just going to scroll through the text as fast as I can because it's always the same thing anyway. And this thing creeps me the hell out! Um, by the way, yeah, sorry for, uh, posting no more, no videos in the last couple days. I had some things to, uh, take care of in real life. Hello, um, random burst of speed. So, yeah, my personal life took priority those last few days, and there are still a few more days left before Diablo 3 comes out. So, let's start pumping out those videos once again, because when that game comes out, uh, no more videos for a long time. I don't know how long, but... Don't expect anything b b before, um, I don't know, early July would be my guess, but uh, I honestly don't know. So, oh, uh, whoa, that hits <laughs> the way to the exit. Sorry about that. I am. Um, I wouldn't say I lapsed out, but for some reason, nah, never mind. It, 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 it's not like I got my ass kicked by a Bokoblin and was forced to use a fairy or anything like that. Over there, we appear to have... Some moblins. Oh, with Bellas on top of that. So, yeah, two. Once again, two moblins in a closet. And we have Bellas to contend with now as well. So, let's get to it. Maybe. No friendly fire. Oh, money, money, money. I want the money. I want the money. Money, money. Thank you. Money. Yay. More money. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, I. I love collecting money in this game. It's just you need so much of it, and you can also carry so much of it once you've met the two great fairies that have braided your wallet. Okay, no. Just go back down. Thank you very much. And just... Uh, is it dead? Oh, yeah, it didn't do that uh, death grunt or anything like that, so... Oh, are you serious? A yellow rupee ended up there? And yeah, that way I had no time to pull out my uh, boomerang and get those back to me. It's something you can do. You can use your boomerang to get uh, uh, loot like uh, rupees and items and stuff. But uh, I had no time to do this. Uh, had I known that would have happened, I would have prepared it, but oh well. So um, we are now done in this little... Uh, mountaintop area so we can head back to the king of red lions because other than meeting jaboon our errands are whoa -ho -ho! thank god i didn't fall uh, on that rock right there i would have taken a um, bit of damage less than i would have in other zelda games because as i said before you you take like a quarter of a heart from everything that uh, that happens to you okay we got a few more shoes to contend with just going to kill them real quick and loot their jelly as well. You jelly? Huh? Huh? You jelly? Okay. Oh, okay. We got uh, some rupees here. And the King of Reliance is waiting right over there. Uh, he's not talking to me? Okay. Now he's talking to me. Are you ready? Well, I guess, yeah, I am. I've done everything I had to on this island. The only thing that's, uh, me that's uh, left to do is to go and meet Jaboon. Now, uh, the cave where Jaboon is, is just around uh, this part of the island. Uh, you're gonna see soon over there, you see it, there's a um, sort of a uh, whirlpool in the water, so that's, uh, that's where you want to go, this whirlpool. And I realize that this is the first time that we're going to get to try out this mighty cannon that apparently came with our bombs, I don't know where the hell the King of Red Lions was storing it, or if he had it before uh, getting the bombs or anything like that. But hey, I'm not complaining. I'm shooting bombs out of a freaking cannon. How cool is that? Anyway, what you want to do, you want to aim. Uh, there are a few different fragments of this stone slab. You want to aim for the one that's flashing in red when you hit it with a bomb. So here we go. 
uh, the top part is gone, so now we're going to aim for the middle part. As you can see, it's flashing red once again. Oh, wow, actually, uh, landed two good hits there. Now I'm just going to wait uh, here uh, before I, and get closer to the stone slab before I, uh, before I hit it again, because I don't want to waste any bombs. Uh, since, you know, it's very hard to hit when you're at the other end of that whirlpool. Uh, apparently, you have a limit of time to do this, so you have so much time before uh, the whirlpool swallows you. I've never gotten to the end uh, of said time limit, so I don't know for sure. I do know if you fight a big Octo or uh, Cyclos that uh, you're going to get flung somewhere, but I don't know what happens if you run out of time, if you can run out of time. Anyway, the stone slab is now gone, and the whirlpool magically disappears for some reason, so the last obstacle is gone, and we can go see Jaboon. Uh, there's no uh, dungeon we're going to need to crawl through in order to get, the, to get the last pearl, but I think we've already jumped through enough hoops that uh, a dungeon crawl, well, cool, I guess, would be fairly unnecessary. And just like Valu, um, Jaboon expresses himself in the old Hylian language. And uh, the, the interesting thing about this conversation is that um, Jaboon is saying very, very spoilery thing. The reason we know that is because you can actually... Uh, well, the Hylian text is actually translated when you play a New Game Plus, so you know exactly what he's saying. And it's pretty huge spoilery stuff, and when you, when you just know one side of the conversation as the King of Red Lions uh, does now, it, it just leaves you wondering, what the hell are they talking about? Must be something important. And yes, it is, but uh, you only get one side of the conversation. So, we get our final pearl from the thing that looks like a cross between a lantern and a whiskash on drugs. Just like, uh, just like Valu was a cross between a Dragonite and a Charizard on drugs, this one's a cross of a, of a Whiskash and a Lantern on drugs. By the way, you may recognize the uh, song that's playing now as, as uh, the song that plays uh, when you're inside Jabu Jabu's belly in Ocarina of Time. Uh, by the way, apparently Jaboon is a descendant of Jabu Jabu, not Jabu Jabu himself. Apparently that's a rumor propagated by uh, the, the official Prima Guide, and we all know how badly these things suck. So we get more spoilerish stuff that we can't even understand because it would uh, it, it, it would it would honestly tell a lot about the about the story that we haven't seen yet and um hello well great the emulator just crashed wonderful so I'm gonna have to redo this all over again I guess don't worry I'm not gonna record that I'm just gonna redo it off screen and I'll see you once I get back to uh, Jaboon okay let's try this again once more with feeling is it gonna work this time haven't looked it up or anything on the internet so hopefully it works ah here we go so, Ganon's curse has been broken by the power by the power of the pearl, as I explained earlier. So, uh, now we have all three of the pearls, so uh, our job is now to go to certain islands and place the pearls at their appropriate resting places. Uh, I'm going to show you where those islands are on the map as soon as uh, the King of Reliance is done speaking, yeah, blah, 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 the game will get harder, etc, etc. Yes, I'm, do I'm completely done on outset, thank you for asking. So, you want to go over to these islands and place the pearls on the, the, the appropriate pedestals. But first, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do instead, now that we can go everywhere on the Great Sea, except for the Forsaken Fortress, we have the bombs, we have the wallet upgrades, I think it's time for us to visit every island on the Great Sea and see what each of them have to offer. So we're going to raid the Great Sea and get money, trinkets, pieces of heart, treasure charts, but in order to keep this LP, you know, a respectable size, I'm only going to focus on the important stuff, like uh, uh, tre treasure chart treasures, you know, the ones that uh, are beneath the huge columns of light, uh, pieces of hearts, 
uh, treasure charts, math fish. I, I, I'm, about, I, I'm always about to say math fishes, even though the plural of fish is fish. It's just, you know, something I have to look out for. So, yeah, um, I'm going to focus on the, uh, on the important stuff. Uh, you can see right over to your uh, left there are some uh, platforms rising out of the sea. I know for a fact that there's nothing too interesting up there, so that's the kind of thing that I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to focus on the important stuff. And as you can see, over there, these are the sea hats I was talking about. Much bigger than pea hats, and they're really creepy looking. And, okay, is it, it, it's still after me. Wow. Talk about persistence. So, I see the mad fish over there, so let's just hope I don't get butt ran by a sea hat while I'm trying to talk to it. Uh, it happens more often when trying to, re to retrieve a... Uh, Treasure from the ocean floor, though, and you want, to, and you just don't want to kill all the sea hats. So let's give this guy some bait. By the way, we are on Horseshoe Island, located on Square G1 of the map. That would be the very bottom left corner of the map, and Horseshoe Island fully deserves its name, as you can see, because it's shaped like a horseshoe. So now. What is, he, what is he going to talk about? On the island due, due east of here? Okay, he's talking about Orca, who has a Knight's Crest. Uh, we already started collecting these. Can't go giving away every secret? But that's your job! You're paid to give away every secret! What are you thinking? There's only one way to describe you, Matt Fish. Slacker! And oh wow, there's a sea hat right there! Oh my god, I just avoided... Oh wow! Epic dodge, even if it was at really low speed. And uh, usually, Sea Hats like staying around even after I get off the boat. Um, whoa. Okay. It's coming this way, so... Just for kicks, I'm going to pull out the boomerang. It, it, it's sort of odd that you can kill a thing this huge just by hitting it twice with the boomerang, but... Hey, not complaining. These things are creepy enough. They don't need to be difficult as well. So as I said before, you can use your boomerang to burst piñatas and retrieve the treasure, which is especially useful when the piñata falls uh, on the water. Now, uh, the purpose of this island is basically a mini-golf challenge using uh, the Deku Leaf. As you can see over there, there's a flag, and right next to it there's a hole that I have to aim for. Let's see, okay, is it gonna fall in this time? Now I'm not at the right angle. Let's try this again. Nope, still nothing. Okay, here we go. Down it goes. So uh, there are three such holes, so to speak, uh, on this island. So let's tackle the second one. Fling that thing over the vines. And okay, let's see. Okay. I missed this one. Come on, it's not difficult at all. It's, it, it, it's not the 17th hole of the TPC Sawgrass. Let's see now. Can I get it in from here? Yeah, alright. Um, by the way, Daybreak! Finally! How long has it been since uh, we haven't seen the sun rise? Uh, can I get a hole in one on this one? Yeah! Hole in one! So what this is going to do, this is going to deactivate those vines, make a chest appear over there, and we also gain access to a cave where there is another chest with a treasure chart inside. But we're going to keep that for next time, so I'll see you then.